Okay, let's start by addressing questions one and two, and we'll come back to three later. So the force diagram that I drew on the schematic of the airplane was already simplified. A more realistic version would break down the forces into components that are acting in various locations on the aircraft. Uh, and further, we didn't show any moments in that diagram. Now, for steady level flight, no moment is what we want. The question is, how do we ensure that the moment is zero? So, for example, if we consider the lift only, aircraft here. Okay. Our coordinate system again. Now the wing the wings are generating lift. Well, let's say LW. And there's also the horizontal tail here. Now this generates a negative lift, downward force. And the reason for that is that the horizontal tail is here to balance out a moment generated by this wing. So then the net lift is the lift from the horizontal tail plus the lift from the wing. Now, note that these two uh, lift vectors are applied in different locations. different locations. Okay. Um, so, in addition,
to the net force, there's a moment generated. So, the thing is though, is that the wing itself generates a moment, and we'll see that later on in the course when we discuss airfoil aerodynamics. But generally speaking, there's going to be a moment from the wings as well. So. If we neglect any difference in the vertical position, the Y coordinate of the point of application of the horizontal tail and wing lift points, then we end up with the following. So let's draw this one more time. thrust, the wing lift, the moment acting on the wing, the weight which acts as the center of gravity of the aircraft which is maybe at a different location, some drag due to the vertical tail some drag due to the horizontal tail, the negative lift due to the horizontal tail, of course the drag from the main wing, drag from the fuselage, the main body of the aircraft, and these all act at separate locations. So, if we maybe take the nose of the aircraft as our datum for X, we've got XF, where the thrust is applied. We've got X wing, where those forces and moments act. next to the center of gravity where the weight acts X location of the horizontal tail X location of the vertical tail and X location Okay. So then the total drag is again a buildup of other parts. So we get that the drag is the drag from the vertical tail plus the drag from the horizontal tail plus the drag from the wings plus the drag from the fuselage. The net lift is as before the wing lift minus the horizontal tail lift. Now, the moment must be zero for steady 
level fight. So, as you know, we can take moments at any point. We take moments about the nose of the aircraft, which is X zero. About X equals zero. Then we get moment there is X wing line. Simplify this. Um, X wing times lift of the wing minus X CG times the weight minus X horizontal tail lift of the horizontal tail. And now this positive or negative moment. This is a positive moment for, sorry, I forgot the coordinate system here, for this coordinate system. This is a positive moment. So this is plus M wing. And here we're assuming all the forces act uh, on the same horizontal line. So, since we want m not equal zero, what does this tell us? Since we may know, for example, the main aircraft geometry, so x cg and x wing, known, then this equation allows us to determine if we know the aerodynamic forces on the main wing, so lift of the wing and M wing, also known, then this equation lets us say, well, we can get XHT for a given LHG, or we can do the opposite. We can determine the lift required for the horizontal tail for a given horizontal tail rotation. And typically, you'll actually be considering both of these facts, these aspects. Now, there's still more going on here. Uh, things such as determining the location where the lift and drag act on each airfoil or wing. But for now, we're going to keep the discussion at a high level.